This video will demonstrate how to import shapes into ShapeBuilder, how to export the results to a text file and open them in Excel, and how to export shapes to the IES Shape Database for use in other IES applications such as visual analysis. Let's get started. Starting out, we have already drawn the top flange of an eye shape in AutoCAD as shown. Now we can import this DXF file into ShapeBuilder by clicking File, Import DXF, slash DWG, and selecting the file. ShapeBuilder gives us several options when importing a shape. We can specify the shape's material, we can specify the units of the DXF file, and scale the size of the shape, and we can specify where the shape should be located in the model. Now we will duplicate the shape using the copy and paste buttons and flip the shape to create the bottom flange, and we will move the flange to its correct position. Instead of simply drawing in the web, let's import the web from a text file to see how this feature works. A text file has been created with the four coordinates for the outline of the rectangular web. Now clicking File, Import Text Outline, we can select and open the file for the web. We now see the completed eye shape in the sketch view. In the results pane, we see the simple and advanced results for the shape we created. We can export all the results from these two tabs to a text file by clicking File, Export Results, and saving the text file. If we open this file, we see the simple and advanced results presented in a tab-delimited manner. We can open the file in Excel, and we see the results neatly presented. Another way of getting the results into Excel is to simply select the desired results, press Ctrl-C to copy them, and then go to Excel and paste them in. If we press Ctrl-C with nothing selected, all of the results are automatically copied to the clipboard, and then we can paste them directly into a text file or directly into Excel. After the shape is completed, we can click File Export DXF slash DWG to export the shape to a file that can be opened in AutoCAD, as we see here. We can export the shape to the IES Shape Database to use in other IES applications, such as visual analysis. We are given several options when exporting from ShapeBuilder to the database. First, we can specify the shape tree location by selecting the database, category, and naming the shape. Next, we choose a design type for the shape from the list. Right now, we have an eye shape. Finally, we review the shape properties and fill in any required properties. For this case, we see the default material for the shape will be A992 steel, and we see a note saying the required properties must be set and to review all the properties carefully. For the eye shape, we are required to enter the values for the flange thickness, the center and edge fillets, and the web thickness. There are some optional properties that we can fill in if needed, and we also see the properties automatically entered from ShapeBuilder. Note that we can manually override the ShapeBuilder properties if needed. Once we are confident that everything is correct, we click Finish to export the shape to the database. Now let's modify the shape to make it more complicated by adding a channel connected to the side. When we go to export the shape to the database, we see that this shape does not fit any of the standard shape types, so we will export it as an analysis blob. Again, we should review the shape properties for the analysis blob, but we do not have any required properties that we have to enter. Having exported the eye shape and the analysis blob, Let's switch over to Visual Analysis to see how to use our exported shapes. Here in Visual Analysis, we have two cantilevered beams with point loads at the end. Selecting the top beam, we will specify its section as our eye shape. And selecting the bottom beam, we will specify its section as our analysis blob. Turning to the results view, we see that Visual Analysis produces the analysis results for both the eye shape and the analysis blob. We can view numerous results for both beams, such as the moments, the shears, and the displacements. Switching to the design view, we see that the capacity of the eye shape has been determined according to the AISC specification. This beam passes the code checks since its unity value is less than 1. 
The capacity of analysis blobs cannot be calculated because they are not specified as standard shapes that fall within the scope of the design specifications. In Shape Builder, it is easy to import and export shapes, and it is also easy to export the analysis results. The shapes you create in Shape Builder can also be exported to the IES database for use in other IES applications. Thank you for watching and have a great day.